Good luck, human. Good game. Let's do it again sometime. Oh, hey, it's you. All right. Come on, I'll lead you in. My name's Samson. Brock Samson. This friggin' place is like a maze. Ah, Mr. Samson. I'd lost track of you for a moment. <gasps> And you've brought the player! Splendid! On behalf of everyone at the inventory, I cannot begin to express our unbridled elation to see you return for another night of high-stakes poker. Yeah, uh, speaking of high stakes, things may have gotten stabby over in the mumbly peg room. Mr. Samson, I once again remind you that the inventory is not your personal abattoir. Yeah, yeah, send the cleaning bill to Venture Industries. In the last time. Ah. As always, I am Commodore Reginald Van Winslow, retired, and I will hey, be your host shakes. for tonight's perilous on voyage on the seas of chance. <laughs> Thanks, man. Hey, Reggie, these new chairs are great. It's like my keister is being held aloft by the wings of tiny velvet angels. Let me try, Sam. I'm afraid there's no room at the table for your plus one, Sam. That's okay. Max will make his own fun. Come out with your arms akimbo, Mendoza! So when do we get this clam back on the road? In a few minutes. We're still waiting for... Hello! Hello, future losers! Our remaining contestants. But seriously, whose HDMI board do I have to kiss to get a drink around here? I really love what you've done with the place. Very, uh, Boardwalk Empire meets Silence of the Lambs. As I was saying, you're Can we get going? Steve and I have a tea time at Spyglass. Uh, I suppose we should. I'd hoped our final contestant would be here by now. But it appears that we'll be one short tonight. Deal me in. Tonight's tournaments have a $20,000 buy-in. Everything seems to be in order. The chips are stacked. The deck is shuffled. Let the tournament begin! Gentlemen, I leave you to the tender mercies of GLaDOS. Good evening. Great. What the hell, Wayne? Hubba, hubba! This completes the first test of the contestants' poker faces. The bad news is you all failed miserably. The good news is you appear to be evenly matched. The name of the game is Texas Hold'em.
Not this time. Nah. -uh. I fold. I'll check. Way to go out on a limb there, Captain Courageous. Sure, why not? Samson has a pair of jacks. The player has two pair. The player wins. This deck's gone colder than my ex-girlfriend. The zombie, not the demon. She was actually kind of hot. Fine. Five what? Fingers. Well, you've got five of them. I only have four. Yeah, I've been trying not to stare. What's it like having five? Oh, it, uh, it is what it is. The pinky comes in really handy when you're choking someone out. Oh, Max it like that. So, uh, what's it like with four? Can't complain. Between the fingers and toes, I'm practically built for the computer age. Yeah. How so? We're hexadecimal, baby! I guess you could say for us, the computer age has been a regular digital revolution. Yeah! Don't do that. Sorry! I'm in. I'll call that. I call. Check o Rema. Not bad. Not really good, but not bad. Ah, go. Calling? I think I'll call. Check. 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 You might want to pace yourself there. I'm out. Nope. The player takes the pot. I fall. I'm more of a solo act, Clappy. Aw, oh, come on! I can be the Kato to your Green Hornet, the Biden to your Obama, the Beans to your Pork. You know what I'm talking about, right, Sam? I gotta admit, there's nothing like an obnoxious, violence-prone chatterbox at your side to draw away enemy fire. My head's an inviting target. 
No dice, kid. I've already got more than enough innocent blood on my hands. But I'm not innocent, and I don't have any blood! Mr. Williams takes the blinds. Don't kick yourself. I would have folded too. But, you know, in a manlier way. Anyway, like I was saying, drop it. Thanks for another crappy hand, lady. You're welcome. It's nice to be appreciated. I call. Hmm. Let's raise. If I'd wanted someone to fling garbage at me all night, I could have stayed home watching C-SPAN. Trying to read my face for tells, huh? Well, good luck with that. I've taken so many blows to the head that the muscles in my face twitch for no damn reason at all. See? Nah. I'll bet. Yep, that's a tough decision, all right. I'll bet. You should know that a Williams never bluffs. Except when we do. Ash grabs the pot. Looks like the old Williams curse is going the way of the dodo. I call. Oh, great! More sucky hole cards! I call. I call. I'll check. Oh! Hey, do any of you guys know anything about trading cards? Not since I discovered girls. I might know a few things. Why? Well, there was an incident at the Venture Compound yesterday, and well, Dean's shoebox of collectible trading cards kinda got hit by some stray flamethrower fire. On Pandora, we keep our shoes in fireproof lockers. Well, I figure I got about three or four days to replace them before Dean notices they're missing, but I don't know where to start. What kind of cards are we talking about here? Baseball? Wacky packages? Faces of mirth? Well, according to Dean's database, it's a full set of alien invasion cards. Well, that's gonna be difficult. <laughs> what? Alien invasion cards, published in 1964 were a series of 255 collectible cards that depicted a fictional alien invasion of Earth. Due to their lurid tableaus and violent imagery, they were quickly yanked off the market. As of 2012, only a few hundred intact sets are known to have survived. Oh man, I had a few alien invasion cards when I was a kid. Practically had to trade away my bike to get them. So you're saying I'm screwed? Probably, but I'll see what I can do. Thanks. Wait. You said 255 cards, right? Yes. I can swear Dean's database listed 256 cards. It's probably a typo. Have you seen the way teenagers type these days? Yeah. The player takes the pot. Now that you've played a few hands without bleeding all over the cards, it's time to move the blinds up to 600 and 1200. Looks like there's a lot of love in the room tonight. Manly, pokery love. Well, I raise. 
Even I'm not charming enough to bluff my way out of this one. Don't be scared by the chips. Don't be scared by the chips. Fold. Here's my bet now. So call me maybe. I'd buy a lot of Bowie knives. Oh. Claptrap steals the blinds. Well, that was easy. Yeah, I'll call. Wait a minute. This run of crummy cards is just one of your twisted little experiments, isn't it? Maybe. Or maybe you're just too cowardly to turn lemons into lemonade. You better not be cheating with some sort of x-ray attachment there, R2. Why would I need to cheat? My cybernetic processes are more than capable of whipping your primitive ape brains. Hey, I'm a dog brain. <laughs> Besides, x-ray lenses are so 20th century. All the cool robots are using quantum prediction fields these days. But not you, right? Um, yeah, right. Claptrap steals the pot. Again? You shouldn't have. Anyhow, that sounded like the shutdown of a quantum predictor field. No, that was, uh, my, um, internal dialysis regulator, which I need for my diabetes that I have. Call. Claptrap steals the pot. I'll sit this one. Call. Call. Checko. Check. Check. Checking. Yeah, I'll bet. Uh, call? Sure, gang up on the little guy. I'm all in. Great day in the morning. Who dug it? That's a lot of simoleons. Yeah. Uh, hope this cliff has a parachute. Yes. The little robot has a pair of fours. Sam has a flush. Sam wins. That's more like it. More like what? It. What? That. What is it? It's more like something. And scene. Could one of you guys drop out? Crowds make me nervous. I hate to be that guy, but your chainsaw's leaking on my pants. Sorry about that, Marmaduke. I just like to be prepared. For what? An attack of the Triffids? Triffids, Deadites, Vampires, Nightmare Demons, or maybe just your everyday killer robot. Chainsaws. Like those would work. That checks like a watered-down marinara. Weak sauce. Check. Think. Think, think. 
bet. Nope. Call, fold. It's all the same to me. I fold! Ash grabs the pot. That was a little too easy. You're all still here. Imagine that. I'm moving the blinds up to 800 and 1600. Call! I call. I'll call. Ah, oh, damn it, all in. <coughs> nope. Ah. Oh. All right. All in. Ah, oh, fuzz nuggets. Hmm. Call. Let the chips flow through your fingers! Here goes nothing. Son of a bitch! to the river. Holy Oak, Massachusetts! Mr. Samson has Queen High. Ash has a pair of sevens. Sam has three of a kind. On the side part, Sam takes the pot. And on the main part, Sam wins the hand. Well, the next time you play, you might want to have better cards. Brock Samson has been eliminated. Brock. Brock, do you require assistance? I'm... fine. Ashley Williams has been eliminated. Damn. If you need me, I'll be over at the bar hoping for a demon apocalypse. Have you been merchandised yet, Claptrap? Have I been merchandised? Bubba, my image is plastered on so much crap that even I'm getting sick of it. Coffee mugs, t-shirts, feminine hygiene products, and that's not even counting the 43 different action figures. Action figures? Oh, yeah. You want one? Yeah. Well, not for me, of course. It's for my, uh, friend, Max. Don't go dragging me into your arrested adolescence. Tell you what. Meet me behind the inventory after the tournament, and I'll set your friend up with a rare mid-condition worm-dancing claptrap. Yes! I mean, I'm sure Max will be very happy. Hmm... I fall. The player takes the pot. I call. Uh, I'll raise. Good, good. Let the chips flow through your fingers. Okay, Claptrap, keep it cool. Don't stare at the money, or it'll think you're a creep. Fold. Sam makes off with the blinds. It's a good thing you all dropped out. 
I had a royal butterfly. I call. Is that a big bet? I've kind of lost track. All in. Ah, fuzz nuggets. Call. Eleven percent of all poker moves are checks. It's not an interesting statistic. But neither was your chance. This is my intimidating face. Are you intimidated yet? Is that a good idea? Because honestly, I don't really know what I'm doing. Interesting. No, wait, what's the opposite of that? I'm bad. Great day in the morning. Really? I'm full. Claptrap has king high, and the player has a flush. The player wins the hand. Nice job keeping victory squarely in the jaw of victory. Mr. Trap has been eliminated from the tournament. Darn it! I forgot to turn on my poker subroutine! Can I get a do-over? Your question is activating my rarely used giggle center. Tee-hee. Oh, great. How am I going to make small talk with a mute? I'll check. What to do? What to do? What to do? I'll bet. I know something you don't know. Not about this hand, just generally. Fudge. All in. I don't want to alarm you, but I think you're having a psychotic break. Oh, yeah. Sam has a straight, and our silent friend has a straight. We have a tie, and the pot is split. At the turn, the blinds will now be 1,000 and 2,000. I'll raise. All the heck in. Sam takes the pot. Well, the next time you play, you might want to have better cards.
Not bad. Not really good, but not bad. I love these little moments of quiet before the crying starts, <laughs> don't you? I think I'll bet. You know, most people would think twice about honking off a six-foot-tall dog with an itchy trigger finger. Just remember, it's only a game. Fold. The player takes the pot. All in. Sam makes off with the blinds. I've scanned over 200 million poker tournaments for a replication of your current strategy and found zero results. So you're a pioneer now. Well, you know what they say. When fate closes a door, luck opens a window. And karma deactivates the alarm system. Yes! Yippee! Ah! Sam has three of a kind, and you have a pair of sevens. Sam takes the pot. Hey, I won again. I wonder what that means. It means you're on a roll, baby. Bet everything! I raise. <laughs> Is that a big bet? I've kind of lost track. All right. Time to separate the cottons from the lacy unmentionables. Good for you. Well, that's good, right? For me, I mean. The player has a straight. Sam has a full house. Sam wins. Never bet against a freelance policeman on the edge of his seat. I've increased the blinds to 1,200 and 2,400. Do you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking that I should put the two of you in a cryogenic unit so that I can replay this tournament over and over at my leisure. But that would be wrong. Sam makes off with the blinds. Sam makes off with the blinds. Call. <laughs> hmm. I think I'll call. Interesting. 
No, wait, what's the opposite of that? I call. Hmm. Call. Not bad. Not really good, but not bad. I call. The player has a pair of nines. Sam has king high. The player wins. Is that a big bet? I've kind of lost track. Call? Check. Interesting. No, wait, what's the opposite of that? Raise. Sam takes the pot. I call. Is that a big bet? I've kind of lost track. I'll call. Interesting. No, wait, what's the opposite of that? Call? Not bad. Not really good, but not bad. Oh, Sam. Think of all the hamdingers we could buy with that. <sighs> Shh, I'm thinking. I fall. The player takes the pot.
Not bad. Not really good, but not bad. I project a 0.05% chance that this tournament will end in bloodshed. Luckily, I don't have any blood. Hmm. Fold. The player takes the pot. Did you hear that? That was the sound of a counter incrementing deep within my processing core, informing me that it's time to raise the blinds again. Yeah, I'll adjust its frequency so you can hear it too. I don't know why it sounds like a cow either. Regardless, the blinds are now 1400 and 2800. I like these cards. Not like mine. That'd be weird. Is that a big bet? I've kind of lost track. I think I'll call. Interesting. No, wait, what's the opposite of that? Yeah. I call. the pot. Mm. We've gone several hands without a showdown. Either you've suddenly become better poker players, or I've accidentally introduced serotonin uptake inhibitors into the ventilation system. Sam has a pair of sixes. The player has a pair of sixes. Sam wins with the ten kicker. Come to Papa, little chips. Don't anthropomorphize the money, Max. I mean, Sam. Let's raise. Is that a big bet? I've kind of lost track. On the one hand, you're probably trying to string me along. On the other hand, that bet's so small that I just don't give a hoot. Call. Well, dang. Just remember, it's only a game. <sighs> in for a penny, in for a kilogram. The player has a pair of queens. Sam has 
A pair of kings. Sam wins the hand. Is this what good luck feels like? Not bad. Not really good, but not bad. Sure is exciting, isn't it? Glad you agree. Fudge. All in. Great day in the morning! Looks like I've gone belly up, and so is my hand. Sam has a pair of aces, and our silent friend has a flush. The player wins the hand. That's a relief. I was worried you might screw that up again. Congratulations on your first tournament victory! In addition to your significant financial winnings, management would like to reward you with these celebratory inventory tokens. Oh, Max is never gonna let me hear the end of this. You lost to a nerd! You lost to a nerd! Everybody!